This is the next video in the Peek Behind the Novels series. This is layer six, and in this layer I have proofread through the story completely for context and, uh, you know, I, I checked it over for sentence structure. It is the first real proofread. There'll be another at least two levels of proofreading, so I don't get hung up on anything. I just keep reading to make sure that I'm also reading for context. Now also as I'm moving along I'm adding in the chapters and so you make sure that you also change these from a normal style or no style up here in this box. You click and then while you're still holding your mouse you come down and lean on heading one and that'll change it. Don't worry about the formatting because when it goes into Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word is going to take over all of the formatting. Okay. So the other thing is over here, if you look in the in the binder side, you can see that all the chapters are marked. But there are some scenes here that are just scenes. So using this as an example, I'm going to go to the end of this scene and make sure that I have a scene ending. Right now I'm just using four asterisks because I do this formatting and I have something else that I use as a scene ending that I will add in Microsoft Word. So again, the next scene also does not lead to another chapter, so I make sure I have a scene ending here. Same thing with the next one, scene ending. Okay, and then if you're new to Scrivener, you just might want to check over before you compile it to make sure that all of your chapters are using the header, say header one. Because if you don't use that, then when you compile it into Microsoft Word, you're going to have to pick through and find all of the chapter headers. So anyway, the next thing I want to talk about is another trick that I use with proofreading. I have a big long list of what I would refer to as my troublesome words. Okay, I have a lot of them. So I have to proofread all of these. So it's a long list. Any words that are, it's just a single word, okay, and it has a space before it and a space after it, you can do like the following. I'll show you what I do and I did it in this particular layer for one or two of these words. You go up to Edit, Find, Project Replace. Okay, let me just get these out of here. All right, so I'm going to use the word very because sometimes new writers, myself included, use very like too often. Okay, so you have space, very, space. Then you want to replace it with space, all caps, space. And then I uncheck most of these except for the text. All right. So they're, they're just going to make this change throughout your whole book, but only in the text documents. Okay. Now I'm not going to click it because I've already finished this layer, but you would click replace. And what will happen is it'll take all of the very words and make them all caps. So when you're busy proofreading for context, every time you use the word very, you, you'll see it because it's going to be all caps. So you can at that point decide, do I want to keep that very? Do I want to change it to another word or do I just want to get rid of it? All right. But again, it has to be a word that is not going to be with a period most of the time. Like, for example, a lot of times when people are in an interview, because I am writing a police procedural, they will answer with OK, period. You know what I mean? OK, just one word. So that one might be a little tricky, but just really and very, even probably, those words you could easily use this technique on, OK? That's just a little tip that has helped me along the way. So the next thing you want to check on is to make sure that all of these documents that I use just to mark my binder, to split it into four sections, I like to add in um, a document that just says passage of one week so that I understand where the time is 
This is uh, an indication of when the investigation begins. Okay, so you want to make sure that these documents are all unchecked. You don't want them to be compiled when it goes into Word. All right, so that's pretty much all of the changes that I have made in this layer, and I did complete my proofread. So at this point, I'm going to compile the document into Microsoft Word, and the rest of the proofreading and polishing up I will do in Microsoft Word. So in order to compile, you click on File, Compile. Make sure that it's either default or if you want it in my uh, manual times, I guess you could use that. I always use default. And then um, you want, if you want to check to make sure that uh, only your chapters are checked, you can do that. I already know I did that. And then you would click on compile. And I already did this, so I just will uh, tell you that I always mark this as manuscript from Scrivener so that I know that this is the manuscript that came right out of Scrivener. Okay. Um, and then I'll save it, but I've already saved it, so I'm just going to cancel out of this. So that ends layer six. And now we're going to start the next layer, which is proofreading, but it has some other things that I do to sort of break up all of this proofreading so that you know you've proofread it in every way that it can be proofread. So I'll see you in the next video.